Hello, beautiful black people, beautiful black people. I hope that this day was a very, very successful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. <clears throat> My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, know this. This time of year is usually a time to a time to look at, a time to give thanks, to celebrate a ceremony for those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. There are people that have done that willingly, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Today, the total death regarding the COVID-19 disease has almost reached 100,000. 100,000 human beings have lost their lives due to the ineptitude, the ill preparation, the denials, the deflections of Trump and his administration. They have failed the American people miserably, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. And those folks out there that are still supporting Trump are all white folks. They are all racist. They are all terrified of the browning and the blackening of this plantation called America. They are willing to do whatever is necessary to maintain their power grab via the Republican Party. They will do anything. Do you know that this country is being ruled, controlled by a minority of Americans? Trump has the support of 40 to 45 percent of the American people, and those are white folks, and some of them are just filthy, terribly wealthy, rich billionaires like Robert Mercer. Remember that name, Robert Mercer. He's a billionaire, multi-billionaire, but he's racist to the core. He and his daughter, they are racist to the core. They uh, made their money looting the American people through their mutual funds, etc., etc. The COVID-19 disease have killed almost 100,000 Americans. America is accustomed to having a consoler in chief. President Barack Obama was a consoler in chief. Even George W. Bush was a consoler in chief. Remember 9-11? Remember the massacre at the black church in Charleston, South Carolina? Remember the massacre by a white boy in uh, Connecticut at the elementary school? Remember the white boy walked into Bible study at a black church and murdered nine, ten black folks for no reason. 
he was a racist, just like Trump, just like Mitch McConnell, just like that white, lily white Republican Party. And of course, there's always one of us available to serve as a step and fetch it for white folks. And that person is in the U.S. Senate. His name is Tim Scott. He's from South Carolina. He's a step and fetch it. Minister show performer. When white folks cannot defeat us, when they cannot persuade us, when they cannot sway us, or they cannot hoodwink us, then they will go get a Tim Scott and trot him out in front of us because he's a boot licking and as kissing a bamboozle, hoodwinked, half baked, half fried, punkified, sissified, pasteurized, homogenized, coon to the nth degree. They will trot him out to display him standing beside them, allowing, even allowing him to speak for them, trying to dupe us into supporting the Republican Party. That's the bullshit that we have to deal with right here on this plantation called America. Do you know that had Trump enacted, implemented a stay at home order and enforced it one week earlier, 37,000 Americans would still be alive? Had Trump enforced the stay at home order? Three weeks earlier, say the 1st of March of the last week of February, instead of denying that the virus existed, instead of calling the virus a, a hoax, had those plans, stay-at-home plans, been enacted, 87,000 of the 100,000 death, 87,000 of those folks would still be alive today. And still today, Trump and his lackeys like Pompeo and Azar, Ben Carson, and yes, Tim Scott, Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, Devin Nunes, all of those lackeys will support every lie, every evil scheme that Trump conjure up. They will either be silent or they will come out verbally and support it. And when they are silent, they are given their consent, their approval, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. We do not have a consoler in chief. Even Bill Clinton was a consoler in chief. Do you remember when the Oklahoma federal building was bombed and more than a hundred people was killed. About 20 of them was children. Bill Clinton immediately became a consoler in chief. 
He understood. He advanced his presidency. And that's what leadership, real leadership will do. It will advance a presidency. It will advance a profession. It will advance uh, personal relationships. It will advance professional relationships. Leadership is very, very important. Trump cannot be the consoler in chief. Right now, the Republican Party and the Trump administration are conniving, scheming, planning with the Russians, with the Saudi, with the Saudis to cheat in the election in November in an effort to help Trump win a second term. A second term, another four years of Trump will destroy whatever facsimile of a democracy that we have left. It is now up to the voters, the American people, to reject fascism, to reject totalitarianism, to reject plutocrats, to reject a dictatorship. Trump is the wannabe king. He has destroyed the rule of law. He has destroyed the Justice Department, he and Bill Barr. Do you know that Mueller was so terrified of Trump to the point where Mueller would not personally, professionally interview Trump. He allowed Trump to write answers to silly questions that Mueller presented to him, and Mueller accepted those fake-ass answers that Trump presented to those questions. Mueller was shaken in his boots. He was terrified of Trump. He could have brought charges against Trump, but he was so terrified of Trump discrediting him, of Trump tarnishing his fake-ass reputation. That's what white boys do. They have no courage. Any, anyone that is afraid of Trump is a coward. I am just an average American black man, and I have I don't have an iota of fear in me of white boys like Trump. Mitch McConnell, all the position and power that they have, I will still stand and speak truth to power, offer resistance to injustices, etc., etc. Sometimes you have to decide in your life that there are things that are worth given your life for and defending justice offering resistance to injustices speaking truth to power is what real leaders is what real men and real women do they will not waver they will not 
forsake their loyalty to themselves, to their children, to their families, to their communities, to the American people. Real men and women will not do that. We need a consoler in chief. It is up to us to vote on November the 3rd, 2020, to change, to get that motherfucker out of the white boy house. We must get that motherfucker out of the white boy house. That's all I have on this one. Please go to the thrashaway.libsyn.com. There you will have access to all that I do. Talk to you again real soon.